I am delighted to participate in the opening of the 14th National Science Fair International, being held this year in Albuquerque. The selection of New Mexico as the site for this assembly of young people who have demonstrated remarkable interest and ability in science is significant. Here the first atomic bomb was developed and tested, bringing into man's arsenal an unequaled destructive force. We have tried to make this weapon a means of preventing war. Here also this nation is developing peaceful uses of the atom as a vast source of power for our growing cities to propel spacecraft on long voyages to the planet in biological research and to create new physical elements. These peaceful applications of nuclear power are being undertaken at the Los Alamos Scientific Laboratory, at Sandia Base, at the Lovelace Clinic, and deep beneath the sands at Carlsbad. So we see in New Mexico a dramatic example of how devices for keeping the peace can also expand the frontiers of knowledge and make life better. New Mexico is also the scene of extensive basic study of weather and water. Early next month, I plan to visit White Sands Missile Range in the southern part of the state to see the facilities connected with our defense effort and the installations for testing vehicles which will carry astronauts to the moon. White Sands is not too far from the site of Dr. Robert Goddard's pioneer testing of rockets, work which he began in my own state of Massachusetts. Your activities in New Mexico this week are of great value to your nation as well as to you. If we are to maintain the security of the free world, continue our own economic progress and well-being, and aid those nations where development still lags, then we must increase our reservoir of scientific and technical manpower. But not only is quantity important, we must have highly qualified people those scientists and other citizens who are giving their time and energy to the science fair are making a major contribution towards achieving that vital goal. We appreciate what all of you are doing, and I wish you a successful fair.